News 12 Now's Kay Blevins introduces us to those working to make a difference in your community with Kay. Brought to you by Zaxby's. Welcome back to News 12 Now at 530. In some of your community news today, we are learning more about some flowers. But at Dollywood, they have a great festival that is coming up, and you're definitely going to want to check it out. And joining us now to tell us all about it is Miss Jennifer Webb. She's going to tell us more about the Flower and Food Festival, two of my favorite things. Jennifer, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Doing well. Thanks so much for joining us. Okay. Tell us about this. So our Flower and Food Festival, this is something that we started in 2020. So this is our third season with the festival and it is bigger and better than ever. In the last couple of years we've had about 500,000 flowers and we have upped that to 1 million flowers this year. Yes, we have doubled the amount of blooms this year. And we're really excited for guests to be able to really experience the natural beauty in the Smokies. Um, so we have expanded the festival footprint as we say. So it's going to go up into Craftsman's Valley, that area of the park and we have three new mosaic cultures. And so, yes, I've seen our mosaic cultures in the past. We've got Dolly's mom sewing the coat of many colors. We've got umbrellas. We've got the raccoons and the bears. But this year, we've added those three new ones, and we have a beekeeper tending to his hive. We have a little duck. And if you've ever been to Dollywood, you know we have plenty of ducks, real ducks, <laughs> yes. walking around Dollywood. And then we also have a peacock up by the chapel. It is just absolutely incredible. They're so beautiful. Tell us a little bit about this and how it takes so much time to get these ready and prepared and maintained by Dollywood. Our landscaping team works around the clock, um, right up through the festival and way into the festival, making sure that these flowers stay as vibrant and as pretty as possible, replacing them as they are needed. Um, watering them. The mosaic cultures are really interesting. We partner with a with mosaic culture um, in Canada and they help create these and they help us maintain them and our landscaping team just does a really great job with that. All right, we've talked about the flowers. Now it's time to talk about the food. Tell us a little bit about what you're going to be offering. So this year we have some new items. Our smoked mac and cheese and our seafood mac and cheese is absolutely delicious. We brought back beef bulgogi nachos. We've got Reuben spring rolls. Blue Woog is one of my new favorites. It's a pineapple Sprite drink. We've got a boba tea. And then, of course, all of the delicious treats that you love, the colorful, decorated cupcakes, cookies. We've got a blueberry cheesecake fudge Yum. that I've heard is really good. So it's just about anything you can think of. Just about anything you can think of. Also, you're bringing a butterfly garden to Dollywood. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so the butterfly garden is new this year. We wanted to bring something that was different, that was innovative um, into our Chasing Rainbows Museum area because we're reimagining that. And so just for this festival, this is a really incredible kind of walkthrough experience. And families will go in and they will see these digital screens. And as you walk up close to them, there are butterflies all around and they will follow follow you, the land on you. It's really neat for kids and it's a really great photo opportunity as well. All right. When is all of this going to be taking place right now? Right now. So we started April 22nd and this festival will run through June 5th. All right. If folks would like some more information, they want to get tickets. They want to come to Dollywood and check out all these different events. How do they do it? Well, the easiest way is Dollywood.com. But if you want to talk to a real live person, you can call 1-800-Dollywood. Jennifer, always good to see you. Thanks so much for coming on the broadcast and updating us on what's going to be going on this spring in Dollywood. Go check it out, folks.